Welcome to 5 Minute School. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Cassi classification of biliary atresia. You may have heard of biliary atresia before. It's a situation where we have obliteration of the bile ducts, resulting in a buildup of bile. Uh, it eventually leads to jaundice, liver cirrhosis, liver failure, and uh, the surgical treatment for it is either with the Cassi procedure where we uh, stitch part of the small intestine onto the liver to help with the drainage or in some cases a liver transplant is needed. Um, so there's a few different types so we'll talk about the Cassi classification today. Uh, we have type 1, type 2. Uh, type 2 is actually divided into two subtypes type 2a and type 2b and then we have the final type 3 in the class I classification. So let's talk about type one here. So I've put this image up here of the biliary tree. So I think this will be useful just to visualize which ducts in particular are affected um, by biliary atresia. So type one, we have the obliteration of the common bile duct. So I'm going to highlight that here. Um, on this image. So type 1 is the obliteration of the common bile duct. Now type 2a uh, we have the obliteration of the common hepatic duct. I'm going to write these down as well on the side. So uh, type 2a obliteration of the common hepatic duct. In fact in this situation the uh, cystic and the common bile duct are actually patent so they're okay but the problem here is with the common hepatic duct. Type 2b, we have obliteration of the common hepatic duct, the cystic duct, and the common bile duct. And uh, we'll just move on to type 3 now. So I'm just going to change this here. So type 3, we have obliteration of the left and right main hepatic ducts at the level of the porta hepatis. So that is around this region here. So yeah, that's everything that you need to know for the Cassi classification and in fact type 3 is considered to be the most common form of biliary atresia in mostly 90% of cases it's a type 3 uh, form of biliary atresia according to the Cassi classification. Okay so that's all for this video if you've got any questions about this just leave a comment in the comment section below.